for diamonds we can sell for over a hundred thousand. And you say I've no right. Now get your money and stop crying. All right. But I've always been so careful of my money. I didn't even trust the banks. And now... And now you're going to be a rich man. I hope you're right. I'll go over to my apartment and meet the Belmont woman. Here, take the money downstairs and get the diamonds from Cue Ball. Now, don't forget, you're the financially embarrassed gentleman who owns the diamonds. Try to act like one when you get up to my place. Please. Yes, Miss Belmont. Taxi. Where to? Uh, 319 East 4th Street. 319 East 4th Street, driver. Shop cue ball wasn't there. He's gone. You're lying. I'm not. I looked everywhere. I waited. And what about Miss Belmont? Where's she? She isn't here yet. Oh, you're the one who's lying. There never was such a person. You've tried to trick me so you can get the diamonds for yourself. You're insane. What about my call to Miss Belmont? How do I really know who you are talking to? Oh, no. You can't fool me. I'm going. Mr. Tracy. Hello, Mr. Little. Well, where's Miss Belmont? I don't know who you're talking about. Miss Clyde, I was at Miss Belmont's suite this afternoon when you made the appointment with her. Now, where is she? I don't know. She left her hotel more than 10 minutes ago. Did you give her instructions to meet you somewhere else? No, I didn't. I haven't spoken to her since this afternoon. Pat. Yeah? Check with headquarters and see if they've heard from Tess. Right. where I told you to take me. You want the diamonds, don't you? Where's Mona Clyde? Plans have been changed. She's meeting you here. Come on. Upstairs. instructions were. Miss Belmont was supposed to meet us here. Just a minute. Do you have an extension? Why, yes, in the bedroom. All right, answer that. Play it straight, no tricks. Hello? Yes. Simon Little? Just a moment. Hello? Mr. Little? Oh, yes, Rudolph. Little is here. What? He's back there. There seems to be something wrong. Alex, cue ball. He's got tests. Come on. Right. Thank you. Get those two down to headquarters. Right, Mr. Tracy. All right, get your coat on, lady. I tell you, I refuse to discuss the diamonds unless Miss Clyde is here. It's too bad, sister. Double crossing Clyde Dam ain't gonna be here. Then I'm leaving. What's the matter? Ain't I good enough for you to do business with? I got the diamonds. One of Clyde hasn't. 
Now, give me the dough. Don't be silly. I wouldn't carry that much money around with me. Stop stalling. You want the diamonds, don't you? Well, here they are. Well, I told you I haven't... Don't give me that. You was ready to give Mona Clyde cash? No, I was just going to look at the diamonds. You're lying. You got the dough right here in your purse. No, you're wrong. I tell you... Dick Tracy. So that's it. This is a plant. It's a little late for the celebration, but you're going to have your party anyhow. And this time, the phone is going to stay off the hook. This time, I'm inclined to agree with you. <laughs> and this time, Dick Tracy, I shall deliver my oration without interruptions. <laughs> Friends, <clears throat> Romans, countrymen. 
He's hit. Will crime never cease? Dick. Dick. Sorry, honey. Save me some cake. Oh, no, not again.